The LP1502 Intelligent Controller provides decision-making, event reporting, and database storage for the Mercury hardware platform. Two reader interfaces provide control for two physical doors. This video is all about how to set up and configure IP address to LP1502 Mercury Intelligent Controller. Without any ado, let's start the video. First of all user has to make the physical connection between computer and panel. Then try to ping the default IP address of the panel. To do that, press Window plus R key from keyboard. Then type ping space 192.168.0.251, then click on OK. As you can see on the screen, the connection is perfectly established between computer and IC panel. Let's close this window and open any web browser. Internet Explorer is recommended. Type the default IP address of the controller into the address bar of the browser. Click on More Information. Then click on Go on the web page. A screen prompting you to log in will appear. Click on Click Here to Log In. The link Click Here to Log In will start the login process. The default username, admin, and password is password. It will work if switch 1 is on. Additionally if no other users have been defined and switch 1 is off, the default username and password will continue to work. To disable the default username and password, you need to make sure at least one user has been created and that switch 1 is set to off. To continue click on login. The default login procedure failed because the current time window has expired. To use the default login procedure transition, switch 1 from off to on, and log in within 5 minutes. Click on OK, and try to log in again, by following the procedure as shown. No user accounts have been defined. Future access to the web configuration pages will require the default login procedure, until user accounts are created. Click on OK to continue. Links on the left-hand side of the home page provide a way for the user to manage user login accounts. Change network addresses or addressing modes. Configure auto-save defaults. And display specific device information. To change IP address of the board, go to Network Settings. The Network Settings page specifies the addressing mode and address for the device. The Use DHCP option will use DHCP to connect to the controller on the network. The default DHCP name uses the MAC address of the controller. The Use Static IP option sets the IP address of the controller to the specified address. Enter the new IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway according to the local network range. The DNS server address can be set in the static IP configuration. The options are to allow it to be obtained automatically or to have the DNS server address specified. If you have any DNS server, enter the IP address of that server or else skip it. Click on Accept to apply any changes. Select Apply Settings to save changes. To continue, click on OK. Next click on HostCom. The host communication page configures the communication parameters from the host system to the EP series controller. Change the host communication address from the drop-down list. Then click on Accept to save the changes. Settings are not permanently saved in the device until users send the settings into the device by clicking on Apply Settings Reboot button. Once user click on Reboot, it will give an alert as no user accounts have been defined. The default login procedure will be required for future access to the web configuration pages until user accounts are created. It's giving this alert because we have not created any login accounts. It's optional to create login accounts. User can create account as per his requirement. Here I don't want. So I will skip it. To continue, click on Yes.
Please click OK to close the window. The page you are viewing is trying to close the tab. Do you want to close this tab? Click on Yes. Let's change the IP address of the PC in the similar range of IC board. Now let's try to ping the IC board and check that our configuration has been saved or not. To do that, press Window plus R key from the keyboard and enter the new IP address of the IC board. As you can see that the communication between the IC board and PC has been established successfully. Hope you learned how to set up and configure the IP address for Mercury LP1502 Intelligent Controller from this video. In the upcoming videos, we will see how to add this IC into Gentech Security Center. Thank you for watching this video. We always ready to support our viewers if you have any issues with your system. You can contact us by WhatsApp. We are offering our services with minimal charges. Most of the case we giving free service. Support our channel by giving us subscription. It's completely free of charge. Thank again. We will meet in the next video. Until then stay tuned easy Robotech. Because only way to get technically fit.